It's the time one slash pastry, and let's play some more Final Fantasy XIV with Danny. Yeah, okay. So let's talk to Mother Mjorn. I didn't mute my Discord servers tonight, so hopefully it's not too, too bad. We'll see, though. Welcome back. A little bird told me that the hearer and the party owe you their lives. A tale for the tavern if ever there were one. It is only a shame that I must ask you not to tell it, for the time being at least. Do I make myself clear? Until the hearers have made their will on the matter known, it would be best to avoid unsettling people with stories of walking statues. Excuse me. Now then, you must have suitable re recompense for your valiant service. For the first half of your reward, I will give you leave to make use of the accommodations here at the guild. Arrangements have been made, so all you need to do is speak with and tone and toe not whenever you crave the comfort of a firm bed and the soft pillow. In rooms now available, nice. For the second part of your reward, I offer you another path to fame and fortune, Guild Leaves. Guild Leaves are records of the various requests we receive from the citizenry. They outline all matter of tasks which ambitious young adventurers like you can elect to undertake. Gon Trant is our Guild Leave official, or Leave Mate, here at the Carline Canopy. I have spoken with him regarding, regarding your knack for solving challenging problems, and he is eager to make your acquaintance. Yeah, nice. By the way, have you perchance heard of the coming festival? It is truly a splendid occasion, looked forward to by young and old alike, and one I heartily recommend that you take the time to enjoy. Don't be too disappointed if the recent troubles cast a shadow over proceedings, however. I fear nothing short of the mysterious interlopers' apprehension can prevent that. But we were talking about you. I have made you have made Mother proud. I expect great things of you, young man. Huh? Yeah. You now have access to recommendations, okay. On to Bent Branch. Impressed by your progress, Mjorn wishes to send you on to Bent Branch Meadows, where you will learn further where you will find further opportunities to learn. How is my favorite fresh faced adventurer? Oh do not scowl so. I speak out of habit. You've come a long way since you first walked through my door, and I and I'll not deny it. As a matter of fact, I think it's about time you made yourself useful at Bent Branch Meadows in the Central Shroud. Unlike the recruits you see at the Bannock, the men and women out at Bent Branch are fully occupied with their own work. As such, I imagine there are more than a few who would welcome the assistance of a rapidly maturing adventurer like yourself. Bent Branch is also home to a very usefully suited Atherite. It is, in other words, the perfect place for you to begin the next stage of your journey as an adventurer. And what better time than the present? Leave the city via the Blue Badger Gate and continue to the southwest until you come to a bridge. Cross it, and when you spy an Athrite in the distance, you may congregate, congratulate yourself on having successfully found Bent Branch Meadows. If you so fancy, you may also make use of the Chocobo Quarter Service, doubtless the safest way to get to your destination. Chocobo Keep Singer 
should not hesitate to lend his birds to a capable adventurer like you. Oh, and be sure to introduce yourself to Keitha, the head chocobo wrangler, when you arrive. Okay. So I'm going to go to the Lancer's Guild to turn in those que that quest right there and pick up a new one. And then I'll go to Bent Branch. Also, I'm sorry if this headset sounds um, not as, like, smooth or whatever. I don't have that much money, so I'm having to go for, like, the cheaper headsets that aren't, like, super quality, you know. It's fine, though. Y'all got to start somewhere, right? And some it takes longer than others to get to a good place in life. Well, financially, that is. Financially, mentally, emotionally, yeah. But I'm having fun, and hopefully I'm somewhat entertaining, so there's that at least. Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, that's a cool little dragon. Oh, stop. I want to look at you. That's cute. Oh, my goodness. Again, I am recording this after work. But, yay. Oh. It's now technically Wednesday, but yesterday was my Friday, so I have three days off now to relax and um, try to hide from the heat. Yeah, it's going to be hot. So you're back. I trust you have learned something of the essence of our art. A lancer learns best when he's doing. Each thrust makes him stronger. Such thinking as strategy and technique will come in time, or such things. And never forget courage. Without it, you cannot hope to realize your potential. Your looks betray no hint of doubt. I would have you take I would have you take with you this hunting log. It bears the names of the creatures against which a lancer might hone his skills. To be sure, there's no single way to master our art. The log serves to guide you should you find yourself in need of direction. That will be all for the present. Now take up your weapon, sally forth, and cut a path for yourself. When next we meet, I hope to see you stronger for your time out in the world. Yeah. Got the hunting log, cool. Spear of the Fearless. Guildmaster Yawin, Yawain would teach you the meaning of courage. Ah, you have returned. I take from your presence that you have gained a measure of familiarity with your weapon. Good. You are ready to begin the next phase of your training. You will recall my telling you that it takes no small amount of courage to be a lancer. Now in general terms, courage is the strength to do something which one finds unnerving. However, a lancer's notion of courage is not so simple. Having first drawn a distinction between courage and recklessness, he then drives the former into two aspects. I would have you learn each with spear in hand. The first is composure. When outnumbered in battle, a lancer may use his, lose his composure and succumb to panic. Should this happen, all of his training will swiftly flee his mind, and he will struggle to overcome opponents whom he would ordinarily have bested with ease. He will, in short, contribute to his own defeat. If you wish to become a lancer in sooth, you, will, you must learn to maintain your composure at all times. Do this, and you will be able to call upon every ounce of your strength and skill when it matters most, and so to your first task. The river banks of the central shroud are home to 
vile kin known as Yarzans. Fiercely territorial, the creatures will attack anyone who strays too close, making them the bane of fisher folk. They typically fall upon their prey en masse, barring all avenues of escape before closing in for the kill. What must go through the mind of their victim in that instant? Panic? Despair? Be sure to tell me upon your return. Needless to say, I would have you brave such an encounter. Take this sack of decidingly noi noisome bait and use it to lure the ever-ravenous creatures out of their nest. It may be that only one curious Yarzon appears, but what if two or three follow scent? Let us see how you fare then. Go now, my young Lancer, and learn what it means to fight with composure. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Also, my voice is very interesting right now because of the uh, temperature change. It was a hun It was 97 today, and it is currently 71. So, because the change is so drastic, my voice is going nope. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to the etherite. At, mm. Here, let me take a drink of my coffee while I, I phase in. See if that helps my throat. Okay, I think it'll be fun to use a chocobo porter. Ah, oh, they're over here. Because I don't think I've ever done the Chocobo Porters uh, while playing. Well, while streaming or recording. Well, Matt Trevor, may I interest you in the Chocobo Porter? Uh, do not tell me this is your first visit to stop. I shall update my register with your name so you may access this location in the future. So I'm going to do higher. Yes. Five kill. Okay. Then branch mouse. Commence the following trip. Yes. Now watch this. It's cute. Here we go. Oh. I didn't mean to click on something. drop me off over here oh by the other two okay that works Weep. hello well map traveler man interested in your chocolate porter no okay I need to go up here
where the heart is, the lavender bits. Margaria has information that may interest wealthy adventurers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you not an adventurer? I've seen you running to and fro, face set in grim determination, as adventurers are wont to do. Hence my presumption. If so, I have information which might interest you. Rumor has it that plots within the lavender beds are to be auctioned off. What's more, bidders need not even be Gridanian. Any old adventurer or wandering minstrel could, with sufficient funds, purchase land and build their own home. Considering how discerning the elementals tend to be about who can and cannot reside within Twelvewood, it's rather surprising, if not hard to believe. But if there is truth to these rumors, well, who hasn't dreamed of owning their own forest cottage, perhaps with a small vegetable garden and a stable large enough for a chocobo or two? Sorry, as I heard noise. You know, should your travels take you to the mirror planks, where the fairy to the lavender beds is, perhaps you could find a twin adder representative who can tell you more. I would be shocked if they weren't involved in such a monu monumental change in policy. Okay. Let's touch this. Yeah, teleport learned. You must be the adventurer Mjorn sent word about. I'm Keitha, head wrangler around these parts. I've heard many or more things about you. Good things, lest you worry. When the elder seeds here bade us welcome adventurers, tis far fair to say we had our doubts, till hard work and folk like yourselves said about proving us wrong. That is, consider me a convert. Any road. You've a mind to help out at the ranch, have you? Good. We could always do with a hand or two to keep the place running smoothly. As a matter of fact, I have a task right here that wants doing. Let me know when you're ready to get busy. Oh, and you come highly recommended, so don't go letting no one down, eh? <laughs> okay. Ooh, new pants. I'm getting there. You shall not trespass. Keitha, the head wrangler at Bed Branch Meadows, appears most distraught. See if there's anything you can do. Seven hells, some bastard Kukuyern has gone and broken one of me chocobo eggs. The filthy little thief was busy looting the barn when a guard startled it, prompting the damn thing to drop the egg it was clutching and run. Some of the lads gave chase, bless him. But when three more of the vermin appeared, Milot had no choice but to turn back. Something has to be done about those Kukuyern. Would you mind heading over to the matron's lease and having a word with a soldier named Rosaline for me? The ratman nest in her neck of the woods. See, the ratman nest in her neck of the woods. See, and she'll know what to do. Okay. So now we go this way. Nope. Ooh, ooh. 
I thought I could just run in and it would go over it, but nope. You're here on Keitha's behalf? Hmm, I see. Rock and my rags, you say? And there were four of the creatures? The quick iron are a nuisance at the best of times, but we must now add trespass and chocobo murder to the list of transgressions. They have forced our hand. Our retribution must needs be swift and decisive. And who better than to deliver it, adventurer? From the lair to the west of here, I'll find the lair to the west of here and make an example of exactly four quick iron scramblers. We can send no clearer message. Okay. these things. Uh-oh. One attention. Yeah. I'm trying not to pull more than one. Okay. Oh, there's two over here. if you were near something you were attacking it would start attacking you too ah. the deed is done good a grim task but a necessary one you have shown them the folly of inciting the wrath of those who consort with adventurers. Perhaps now the Creepier will think twice before giving in to their Larcianus pro proclivities. I didn't mean to hit my mic. a little better don't look down 
Asha Jab, a wood whaler at the Matron Fleet, is looking for a sure-footed adventure to pluck blue trumpets from the root of a nearby heaven's pillar. Hold there, adventurer. You seem... Excuse me. Light on your feet. Fancy a quick skip along the root of the heaven's pillar here? I need someone to pick off a blue trumpet or two. I know what you're thinking. It's not more than a mushroom. So why the commo commotion? I'll tell you why. You allow the fungal mass to multiply, and within a moon, they'll be covering the whole damn root and rotting the wood clear through. Just watch your step while you're up there. The dire mites on the ground won't waste any time on the insult to falling injuries. Once you're done, head up to the top. Head up to the top end of the route and report to Theodore. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of one of his most dreaded chores. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then. Look but won't touch. Rosaline needs an adventure to destroy Dharma Ace. Your willingness to assist the residents of Twelvesway is commend commendable. If you have a moment, perhaps you can assist me with a delicate matter. My duties as Wood Whaler include inspecting the matron's leaf for signs of damage or decay. It's never been a difficult task, until the other day when I discovered several clutches of dire my eggs. I have no problem selling the bees when full grown, but the mere sight of their eggs sickens me. Spare me this disgusting task and destroy the eggs. Okay. So let's get the flowers first. the eggs. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, you're right there. Okay. That's a little tricky. Then you have to get back up on here. you've cleared the root of blue trumpets. Wonderful. To be quite honest, I have this teeny tiny problem with heights. Ugh. Not that this is my ideal posting, but we all do what we must. Keeping the root passable is an important job, you see. It's one of the few ways folk can traverse the central shroud since the calamity all but split the area in twain. It's not perhaps the easiest pathway to walk. But there are those who believe the will of the matron herself caused the tendril of a heaven spiller 
to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. All right. It. Get all the gear I can get on me. Yeah, because he has bun ears, you won't see any hats. In the grim darkness of the forest, Theodore is looking for an adventure to deliver a message. It is regretting me my duty to stand watch over the road from here to Bent Branch Meadows. The ranch has become a veritable in institution of Gridania, so any threats to its continued operation are taken quite seriously by the Wood Whalers. <clears throat> Which reminds me, was it my imagination but I believe I caught a glimpse of some shadowy figure or shadowy fellow not too long ago. Would you mind passing word to Rosaline down below? I would go myself, but well, it's hard enough marshalling the courage to walk the route for my shift. Okay. Poor guy. Ooh, I'm going to level soon. I'm also very sleepy. Shadowy fellow. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I may have seen something. I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest in the north. Still, so I suspect it's nothing more than a quick and thief on the run. If you must sate your curiosity, by all means investigate. Should you actually find something of note, I would very much like to. S I very much. I would like very much to see it. And I believe there's another... Yep. With that, I could always rely on a kind soul to handle such tasks. My training prepared me to face beasts in combat, and not once have I shirked my duty. But to lay hands upon those sickly, slimy eggs is just... Well, clearly you have no promise doing so. Thank you for your help, Adventure. <clears throat> Okay. Let's check out this. went the wrong way. Oh, 
Oh, I'm supposed to get you. I like to scream. over there. God, that scared me. I was gonna go the wrong way. Okay. Sorry, I hit my mic. Hmm, have you found something? Yep. Right now, it's a campfire in a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventurer or traveler. And inside we have a chuckable grooming brush and rosaline oil. But wait, why would a traveler make camp here? Wouldn't it be far safer to beg the hospitality of Bent Branch Meadows? Bugger me, I think this belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the chuckbos. Thank you, adventurer. We've been lax in our duties, but no longer. I swear we'll find the shadow. new boots. Nice. Something level elevated. <laughs> Rosaline would like you to warn other sentries of the stranger's activities. We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I prepared this letter to contain everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to show it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Once each sentry has committed the details to memory, have them write their name at the bottom of the confirmation. Start with Elmore at the Bannock, then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Bent Branch Meadows. They ought to relay the information to others. Finally, make sure El Elgar sees the letter. He stands watch within the stables. 
So if this stranger's aim is to harm the chocobos. Oh my god. Yelgar may have to personally put an end to it. Right. Okay, I am. Oh, that's right. I have to get these guys, too. Oh, my God. You don't look like you're here for training. Shadowy figure. Understood. I'll pass words to the recruits as well as the sentries. Let me just make my mark. There. That should do. If you follow the road south, you'll find Bernard by the bridge of Brent Branch. Go by the bridge of Brent Branch. Godspeed, adventurer. Oh, it's right here. Hold that. Hello. There's another one in your over here. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to get those. I mean, y'all were kind of in my way.
ladybug. Ah. Oh, one shot kill. That works. Get this. I mean, might as well get them while we're here right now. That just disappeared on me. That was weird. I just walked up to it and it went poof. Marry you. Got that. Get the ladybug. Oops, too far. I'm almost done recording that to see what my room is. Oh, that's it for those. I guess that's it for those. Okay. I could have sworn I told him I was going to be recording. I guess not. Oh well. Let's go this way. Wait a minute. How far is this? Oh, okay. Uh. Okay. Bernard. And then. Okay. Finishing this quest will probably, uh, oh, that's right, the lavender beds. Okay. At first I'm like, hold up. Yeah. You have business with me, Adventure? Yes. Rosaline is right to be cautious. For the stranger to venture so close, yet go to such great lengths to remain undetected, is highly suspicious. They clearly have designs on Bent Branch. We appreciate the help. I should write my name here. Yes. And here. Take it. You'll find Elgar in the stables. Pass to Athery. Right. Uh, This way. Mind the birds, adventurer. They get nervous around strangers. What's this? A shadowy stranger near the matron's leaf? You already shown this to Bernard and Elmar? I see. Good, good. Then all that's left is to inform the staff here. Not everyone here is a wood whaler. True. But even our stable boys wouldn't hesitate to take up arms to defend these chocobos. Yeah. Migrant mar marauders. Ialgar would like to impose upon the kindness of an adventurer. You're quite the compassionate adventurer, by the sound of it. Well, far be it for me to look at gift chocobo in the mouth. I have need of a capable man like yourself. We received a peddler at the gates the other day, an excitable lalafell that was sweating and swearing that he had been attacked by large winged beasts. Yet other than hornets, I know of no flying creature in this region. If there were any truth to what he said, it might prove pro problematic for other travelers. Follow the road south and see if he could find any evidence to support his claim. And should you find something, kindly tell 
Lot Lothair to patrol his area sometime, instead of just standing beneath the spire and staring at the god's damn road in those words. Wow, okay. I would say cut the guy a break, but damn, okay. Uh, so down this way, all right. Whip. Oh, is this kind of sorry where I need to go for the other thing? Yes. Okay. That works. Oh, I think I know where I'm going. Okay. far away. I'm right here. A northern vulture, too, and they were defending a nest. Well, I, uh, perhaps we could admit that last detail on my official reports. I would rather not give Elgar any further cause to be crossed. Oh, my God. Thank you for slaying the beast. You may rest assured that I will not permit this to happen again. Yay! New gloves. Okay. And we're gonna reassign gear. Okay. Okay, I know in um, my last video, I went a little over and I'm sorry about that. So uh, I think this is a good place to stop for now. And in the next episode, we're gonna see additionally what uh, Lothier needs. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. That's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!